Good morning, friends. It's another great day. Uh, I don't know if you've been looking at the calendar, but about this time next week, you will have a workshop, and that workshop will be, um, the deadline for it will be midnight a week from today. Make sure you have something in on, uh, before midnight a week from today so that you can participate in the workshop. It doesn't have to be a perfect draft. It doesn't have to be a complete draft just has to be whatever you've got for paper number one so that you can get in the game, see what other people are working on. The more complete your, your draft, the better off you'll be because obviously if I'm going to comment on something and you give it to me and you already know that it's not good or you already know that it's not what you want to do, then my comments aren't going to help you as much as like, this is the thing. I can't see how this thing could be better. You give that to me, I'm going to see things that you couldn't see, and like you're, I'm making something that was already your best possibly better. So, um, we have some files in the files section of Canvas that's that they're really going to help you with your paper. Um, first of all, there's uh, the sample papers for paper one. Uh, paper one, you will look at a multi-level marketing firm, and. Um, Decide if you or your family members would uh, be able to benefit from joining, and then if it's possible to benefit from joining, kind of explain how. And if it is not possible to benefit from joining, you give some of the evidence that you found. So you've got five sources you should use. Five sources. Three can be sources that I have given to you. Two, at least two, need to be sources that you found on your own. So for example, um, if you were to do uh, a paper writing about Mary Kay, there's a website called The Pink Truth, which has a lot of resources and different articles about um, and testimonials from people who've had a hard time with Mary Kay. Um, the other thing you can do is take any multi-level marketing firm and just Google that name of the firm and Reddit, and you will find a whole bunch of stuff, real life people's stories. You can also find, uh, obviously, newspaper articles, magazine articles. Um, I'm very open to what kind of sources you use. Uh, you are allowed to use a Reddit thread as a source, and you're thinking to yourself, oh, I don't really know how to use this. I, don't, I wouldn't know how to cite such a thing. Oh my gosh, the internet has the answer. If you just Google, how do I cite a Reddit thread in MLA? Google has the answer. And if you start looking at how MLA works, you will see a pattern. The citation, which is what goes at the end of your works cited page, the only things that go on your works cited page, by the way, are things that you cite, things that you mention. So every time you use something that is not from your own head, you have to either give an in-text citation or mention it in the sentence. Every single thing that you use goes in the works cited, alphabetized by author. Every citation has three elements, author, title, container. They are listed alphabetized by author, so when you mention them in the body of your paper, either like as part of a sentence, like so-and-so says this, or just give information that came from the source and do an in-text citation, you always want to use the thing that's going to help the person find it in the works cited list, which is why in in-text citations, in those parentheses at the end of a sentence, it's the author's last name. It's not, I saw it on CNN, so it's CNN. No, that doesn't help. You need the author's last name. If there's no author, right, we have this order, we have author, title, container. If there's no author, then title. If there's no author and there's no title, weird, weird, probably there's a title, you could probably find a title. But if for whatever reason there's no author and no title, can't do author, can't do title, oh, container, right? That's how we figure out what's going in the in-text citation because we want that thing that's hanging out, that's hanging out at the end on the works cited list so that you can easily find it. Um, and honestly, there are so many videos I've linked to over the last uh, 12 months trying to uh, 
help people brush up on their MLA or learn MLA. And you know what it really comes down to? You learn by doing it. You learn by looking at models. I've got models for you in the sample papers. And if you learn better from watching a video, I have many recommendations. If you learn better from just practicing, I have all of these opportunities to practice as you do your um, discussion posts. Um, the key thing is deciding that you're going to get this right because honestly, getting MLA right, it's just following these rules. Like there's nothing subjective about it at all. Uh, you don't have to have like an amazing insight. All you have to do is follow these rules. So of all of the things that I judge your paper on, which uh, you know, uh, I, I, have, I have five criteria that are on the rubric. One of them is evidence, and basically handling evidence is mostly about adhering to MLA. And that is the easiest thing to get a 10 on if you decide. Because, like, you didn't have to have a good idea to do all the documentation correctly. You didn't have to have sound organization for your paper to do the MLA correctly. You didn't have to have um, uh, excellent mechanics throughout your paper to get the MLA correct. All you have to do is follow these rules. Um, the other things that are going to be important to you as we think toward um, doing the workshop is uh, make sure that uh, you pick a topic for your paper that is exciting and interesting to you because um, one of the things that really comes through in people's writing is you know, uh, enthusiasm for the subject. If it's there, um, you will levitate us. You will levitate me. You will levitate your fellow students who uh, get to read your paper as part of the workshop. So make sure that you pick something that sings to you. Um, and if you really don't have a lot of ideas, um, you know, you can always ask me. You can always look in the forums, where are you in the cult? Like a lot of the discussions that we're having uh, involve people kind of talking about different um, MLMs or cults that maybe they've been involved with. So feel free to reach out to fellow students too if they, if they bring up something interesting that you haven't heard of. And maybe that can be the seed that leads you to your new passion. All right, um, I want all of you to have a wonderful weekend. I know you have uh, a lot to read and a lot to watch. Um, and please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Again, a week from today, workshop, first paper. It's a short paper, and it's just a draft. So don't be precious. Don't make sure that it's perfect. Just make sure it's in before midnight, because that's the only deadline I care about is for workshops, and that's because I can't control Canvas. Y'all take care and be safe.